working with my new snowman blockheads. <laughs> I had a fun time making these. So you can see that one's the green eyed one. And then we have a smaller one that's blue eyed or I can put green vice versa. The big one is five and a half by five and a half. The little one is four and a half by four and a half. It's all printed and painted and done by me. So we're going to put one of these in the wreath. These are now listed in my Etsy shop along with Baby It's Cold Outside and it matches the ribbon Baby It's Cold Outside. All in my Etsy shop. Hi Jennifer, how are you? I know, right? <laughs> I had to do it up with the uh, the cheetah print on there and make his little fuzzy ball. So, what we're going to be working with tonight is a square frame from the Dollar Tree. All right, I have this leftover garland. And we're going to put the garland on the square frame. I, I'm just, I have some um, pine wreath bases. I'm just not happy with the fullness on them. They were from Walmart last year. And I just don't like them. So, I like this one better. It has a few different types of. Well, actually two types of pine in it. So we're gonna be adding more pine. <laughs> you know me, right? Oh, and I got my box of Happy Mail. What I like to do before each season is grab some of the ribbon from a craft outlet because I use those as my inspiration for the next round of signs. Okay, these are Valentine's colors that I found that I'm going to be incorporating in upcoming signs. Yes, right? This was some ribbon that I had gotten. This is really pretty. This has snowflakes and a little bit of gold in it. That's from Paper Mart. But these were the colors I've chosen for my Valentine signs. That's got a little bit of red in there. This one I thought it was cute. It has little like snowballs on the end. And this one I love. Look at that glitter. Is that not gorgeous? And then this was cute because this had the pink and red argyle. Right? Then this has gray, red, and white and cream. Just thought I'd give you a sneak peek of what's to come. This has a fine bit of glitter on it. Can you see it? White glitter, like silver, silver glitter. And this one is my favorite. It's got black glitter. And then this one has pink, red, cream, and black. But I don't know if you've seen this yet. But they now have wired ribbon that is in uh, the size of 7 eighths. So I got it in red and then I got it in gray. And I think I have it in black. Yes. And I got it in black too. Because these are all colors that I'm going to be using. Um, I already started on some of my tin um, covers. We've got a rabbit coming. We've got um, a leprechaun coming. So several new ideas, but I thought I'd give you a sneak peek at the ribbon so you can see what colors I'm going to be working with as a palette for um, Valentine's Day. 
gave her day of the year. I love, love, love Valentine's Day. And then this is another one I got from Paper Mart that I thought was really pretty. It's just snowflakes. So I thought we'd kind of get that in our design tonight. All right. Who did I miss? Everybody's just watching. Nobody's talking. No problem. No problem. All right. So let's get this on our wreath. Oh, and then I have some snowballs we're going to put in the wreath too tonight. Something a little different with this garland. All right. And what I thought I'd do is flip this over. Now, I can use some of the pine to attach it, but I thought it would actually be better if I used some zip ties. So, let's get out some zip ties. I have some pine to add there. I had some black ones, and I thought you watch. Won't be able to find them when I need them. And I'm right. And the other time I want black. I don't want black. I pull it out. But then when I want the black ones, they're not available. Or are they? There's one. <laughs> we need more than one. All right, we're just going to go for the tinsel tie. All right. So, at least with this green tinsel tie, which this is the last one I have. I don't even have any more in the shop. But at least with this, I can really disguise it in and amongst the pine. I'm not missing anybody's comments. I can go back. I'm going to work with the hook right here and get it right attached in the corner. And then I'll cover over it when we come back around. Perfect disguise. Then I can even pull it up front and make it part of the wreath. So I think I'm going to put one in every crossbar. That way I know it's secure. And I know you've all heard me say this, how much I love tinsel ties. They don't rust like pipe cleaners. They really hang in there. y'all have a good weekend? Getting funky messages on my, on my computer again. I hope everybody's staying safe. have done this ahead of time, but I thought for somebody who hasn't tried this, they might want to watch, so that's why I'm doing it now. But I'm just using the crossbars to get the middle crossbar to get it secured to the wreath base. again. Let me see if I can get them back. Whew. Well, 
that's great. Let's see. I played hooky yesterday from work. Went to see my grandsons. They're getting at a really tough age where they're afraid of people. So if we don't stay in contact with them enough, they're going to be afraid to see us on Christmas. They're very, very scared of strangers right now. So, all right, round in the corner. some custom orders that I have to get finished and I just didn't have it in me yesterday. It's like I want to go see the grandbabies. Elizabeth, I, I usually have it in my shop. I think right now the only two colors that I have are um, beige and white. I'll have to get some more. And I think it's like $2.97. Um, I, I just feel better using it. Um, I've seen some of my wreaths that over the years, they the pipe cleaners just tend to rust and break. They're not really meant to hold on like the tinsel tie does. So... I know right now, um, I don't know if it's Dollar Tree or Walmart, they have like this just cut in strips and they sell it there. Hey, Tina. I'm glad to see you on here and I'm glad to see you're in Lori's class now. What a surprise. Awesome. You're going to learn a lot. Yeah, you can you can find it at least this color this time of year, Elizabeth. But last year I had trouble or before Christmas I had trouble getting certain colors, so I had to go with white and beige, and I had green, and that's the last one. So, but yeah, I, I use it all the time. I no longer use pipe cleaners. In fact, I have a ton of pipe cleaners. I should just list them on Etsy to get rid of them. All right. Why did that not go around the corner? Maybe because I didn't put it on there. <laughs> but I'm just sticking to the square frame, the middle base, the middle um, wire. There we go. And then see, I can just incorporate this in the wreath because it's the same color. There are some spots where I had cut some off, so I'm trying to make sure that I have those cut down so they don't stab anybody, especially me. Hey, Nanny Dot. How you feeling after your fall today? I hope you're doing good. I was worried about you. So all I'm doing is putting a little spot of glue there. So when I pull, I'm totally securing it to the wreath base. And like I said, I could have used some of the, the pine that's attached here. But in some spots, it's a little sparse. So I wanted to make sure 
that um, I didn't use what I had that I added because we're going to add more pine to it too. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I got at the beginning of the year from Sims. I have a wholesale account there and I always order some because it's really nice to fill in on some pine wreaths. Rule of thumb, you should always have about three different kinds of pine in your pine wreaths. That's a good number to work with. Oh man, I'm glad somebody was available to help you. And we're on the last section. Let's see how it's looking so far, but we're gonna be filling it in with more pine. We're also going to be filling it in with um, the bow. And we have ornaments, snowballs to put in here. For those just joining, um, Baby It's Cold Outside is one of my newest signs. And my blockheads. They're five and a half inches and four and a half inches. I made these, I made the gingerbread ones. I finally posted those. I posted these um, so you can go in and check them out if you're interested. If you have an idea for a sign and you can't find it, um, contact me. I can usually make it for you. Thank you, Tina. You're on our, um, I hope you get a chance to get on some of our Zoom calls, Tina. You'll learn a lot there. All right, I think we got about three more to put on. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, Please do. Every little bit helps. Because starting the beginning of the year, I'll be streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. I know a lot of you don't like the YouTube format. You prefer to stay over here on Facebook. But, um,. I'm going to be on both at the same time. So you won't have to choose. You'll be able to go on whichever one you favor. Okay. I just wanted to work with the square frame. I thought that's something different. Let me bring it up. This is a Dollar Tree square wreath frame. Do you use um, Dollar Tree frames, any of you? I know uh, Missy does sometimes. All right, now when I get to the corner here, I wanna make sure that I'm covered all the way over. So I wanna kinda of check from above here because I want to make sure I got good coverage. Good to know. Maybe you'd like to split a case of them because they're not always available. See, Missy does. All right. I'm just going to spread this pine out. And like I said, take it to the edge. So I see where... In fact, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to actually round the corner and head upward. 
That way I know I've got my coverage. And there's a good place to end it right there. There we go. See that for actually might be able to use that to fill in some. So we won't dispose of that right away. Alright. So I'm going to take this round the corner. I'm actually going to secure it there. Alright. Put a little glue. Why is this not... too far over the plug. <laughs> All right. Now, when we turn it over, let's see where we need more coverage. See, there's one type of pine, there's another, and there's another. So, and when I spread it out, I can actually see where I'm going to need more coverage. Um, if there's a really big hole, that may be where I want to put my, my um, bow. You just want to kind of check it out. I'm feeling a hole here, so maybe I can use some of this to fill in that hole. And I'm going to cut it below this because I really want another piece of that in my wreath. So. Okay. Because when you order a case, it's so frustrating. I'm going to actually put it going this way and maybe make this the bottom, because then I kind of have it going there. And this is really sharp, so I want to cut that off. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? Sorry if you can hear my husband. <laughs> well, good. I, I, I've been meaning to call let you me, also. Let me make sure he... And, you know, hold on. I, He's hard of hearing, so when he gets on the phone, he uses the speaker and he feels like he has to yell in it. I have, I think I have quite a few 14 inch down in my classroom. It's just sometimes, you know, when you order them, you have to, when you order a case, you get so many and then you're stuck with a ton of them. Because a lot of times they don't have them in stock. There we go. Now see how that's kind of filling it in? All right. Now have this. I love this. I got this from Sims. This is called a pine spray. It's a 30 inch pine spray. And see how it, it kind of is like this color. It's lighter than this. So I'm going to cut some of these off. Actually I'm going to use the one that has some cut off it already. It even comes with the pine cones attached already. Um, let's see. So I've been chopping at this one already. <laughs> so let's get some of these off of there. All right. I'm going to cut some of it up in pieces. So we can lay some in here. 
it's just going to give it more interest when you have extra pine in here that's of a different color. I like to just kind of move around. Just like I said, gives it more interest. Fills it in, gives your eye something to jump around and look at. Let's see, see how it just kind of added to it. All right. I think maybe another piece right here, and then we'll kind of glue those in place. I like these brown pieces, so I'm going to incorporate another one of these over here. There we go. So let's get those glued in, and then we will start decorating. Everybody got their Christmas shopping done? Or you still have more to do? And we'll stick one of these in there. Just gives it another little touch. Time, girlfriend. Tina came to one of my classes. We did some signs um, with the. I have a brother scanning cut. It's kind of like a cricket. So we had a good time. She likes my basement. <laughs> Lots of stuff there. A lot of things to create with. I love pine wreaths. I love pine and I love grapevine. Um, more so than the mesh. It's just, just the way I like it, that's all. I like things to be simple. And not only that, sometimes in our area, it's hard to sell a pine wreath or a mesh wreath because we have storm doors. So sometimes if the mesh wreath is too full, it gets really mangled. Your bow gets really um, flattened. Um, so unless you have like a um, overhang that can protect your wreath, it gets really messed up. So in our area, a lot of people won't buy the mesh wreaths. So they, they, they prefer the, um, the grapevines and the pines. And you can use pine all year long. Pine trees grow here all year long. You don't just need to use them at Christmas time. And if you're putting mesh on them and you're using this as your ties, you, you can disguise it really, really easy. Yes, I'm sure they do. I bet they do. Okay, so really we're on a square frame, but we really don't look square. We look more round. Let me see, do we need this anywhere? No, because I think I'm going to do the bow there. So we're good. All right, I'll just move that. 
Now, what I thought I'd do, now, before we put anything on, is take my snowflake ribbon and kind of maneuver it around and through and over and under and just kind of get it. I just want it to give it a little pop against the pine. This came from Paper Mart. It's called Snowflake Ribbon Die Cut. So I'm just going to maneuver it in and out. Just because I wanted it to give it just a, an extra pop, you know. Right? Actually, I have to really kind of figure it out because I want to balance the sign with the um, the snowman blockhead. They actually weigh pretty close in, in weight, so I don't want my, my wreath to go crooked, so... This would probably even be cute on the Christmas tree. This ribbon. And I can even add it to my bow when I'm done. So, um, Tina, are you going to be doing some lives? My big, my big guns are kind of getting a little dull. It's going to be a sad day when I got to take them to be sharpened. Okay, so just giving it a little touch of whimsy. There we go. All right, now. I always try to find where the weld is on these also because wherever the weld is, that's your weakest point. So I think my weld is over here. Okay, so I'm going to make that the side and I'm going to hang from the top where the weld is very secure. Nothing worse than getting your wreath all complete and realize that where you're hanging, putting your hanger, is where the weld is, and that's the worst place for it to be. So, all right, I think my sign is going to go up here in the corner, and I think my lock head is going to go down here, or about right here. Yeah right there. And then my bow here, because my weld is on this side, my top will be here, and then I have my um, snowballs, which I got at my favorite shop, and been hanging on to them and hanging on to them for just the right wreath. So, I think this is the right wreath. Well, welcome, Regina from Virginia. Glad you could join us. Well, Tina, if you do lives and you participate, 
You do one each week. Lori puts your name in, and you have a chance to win Amiibo or a light kit or whatever. That's why most of us do it. You know I'm here if you need anything. All right, so I'm going to use the ties from the wreath to hold my sign in place. Did you come to see my blockheads? <laughs> Here's my blockheads. <laughs> I'm making blockheads now. We have a set of gingerbread blockheads. They're in the Etsy store. We have um, these I put in the Etsy shop today, in my Etsy shop which if you go up to the top of the page and hit the shop now button, you can get there. And then um, I have an Easter bunny coming out. We have a leprechaun. I don't know if you watched my live when I did um, the um, nutcracker, but I, I, I made him out of a tin and I have a sleeve that fits on him. Hi, Fanna, how are you? And um, so we've got a leprechaun coming. We've got bunnies coming. I have some awesome gnomes coming. They're going to be blockhead gnomes, but they're going to be like a triangle. So don't be worried. They won't look weird. <laughs> I put in, I want Santa to bring me a staple gun. I have um, an air compressor compressor staple gun, but it's not good for when you're on a live to listen to that thing go on. So, so yeah, lots of exciting things. The snowballs, I, I have a little shop in town that sells reused items, items to reuse, and I'm always, well, anyone who watches me, I'll tell you, I'm always looking for bargains. And, uh, and I, I did do a video, um, it's on YouTube, of the one, I always look on Marketplace, I found, I found a lot of great bargains on Marketplace, so that's where I got my Grapevine Angel, um, the bird houses, I haven't done those yet, <coughs> maybe, um, maybe I'll do the bird houses as a Valentine's. I think that would be cool. I'm making tear tray signs, and I made some tear trays. So there's a lot of things that we'll be doing that are coming up. <coughs> now I'm going to test it. I wanted to make sure that if I held in the middle, it was going to be even, and it looks like it is. So, all right. Yay! We're good. Now, I may want to flip these up this way because the bow is going to go here, so it's going to be disguising those. So, good thing with pine, you can pretty much direct it anywhere you want it to go. All right. And this, I may want to go up just a little higher with it. I knew that was going to happen. It needs to be stapled. And my husband took the hand stapler and put it back in the garage. So, I'm going to have to staple it. And when I sell these, I do sell them with the tinsel ties already attached. I try to ask you with your order if you're going to be using it what they call a shelf sitter, or if you're going to be using it as a wreath attachment. Wouldn't it? Little hearts all over it. Ooh, yeah, baby. That's what we're going to do. All right, I'm just bringing this up a little more so we have room for the bow. And like I said, I'm probably going to have to staple this guy after I'm done. Thank you, dear. Be thinking of you tomorrow, Levon. 
Give Coco a big hug for me. All right. So we've got our blockhead. And see, I don't know if you saw, okay, but here's his hat and his hat matches. I have the ability to do that with my sublimation printer. I can take whatever's in the sign and I can print it. So that's what I did. All right, let's go for our bow here. And if you wanted, you know, I had these priced separately, not as a, not as a set. So if somebody like when I did the um, gingerbread, I had three gingerbread in a teardrop swag. So you can buy multiples or you can buy one. It doesn't matter. All right. These are the ribbons that I've chose for this. You know I always try to match. I always try to put something of the ribbon in my signs. So in this sign, I use this ribbon, which says, baby, it's cold outside. Okay? So I'm first going to be using the red. Um, I thought I'd use that as my back color. And then... See. I love this gray with the snowflakes. And then the next color was going to be this. And then I thought it'd be nice to add the striped red in there, red and white, and then end it with the um, snowflake, silver snowflake. Because I don't know if you can see it, but there are actually little diamonds throughout this, the border and on some of the lettering. I, I love that kind of stuff. Oh, it's, is it Thursday or is it Tuesday? I thought it was tomorrow, LaVon. So there's my colors. And I could do this too. Maybe I'll put the gray in the back then do that, then do that, then do that. And I had this if I wanted to add it, but I don't think I'm going to add it. I think it's too much. And where's my little black and white? And we can add this on the top. And then add some of the snowflake in there. I think it's tomorrow, Missy. And I'm just trying to figure out if I should do the, I think I'll do the gray. Red first, all right. Let's see how this turns out. For some reason, the Sam's Club ribbon will not hang on there, so do who. All right, I'm gonna do about a 10 in, or 12 inch tail. I'll just move this over to the side that way you all can see what I'm doing. Oh no. She'll pull through. She'll do fine. Let's see how much of a... I'm going to do the first one is going to be six inch loop. Now I usually just pull this up Make sure they match lengthwise and then cut. Now I am with my three on one side and or two on one side, three on the other. Well, hi Karen, welcome. So glad you could join us. I haven't seen you in a while. All right, then we'll do the gray snowflake next. So our tail is about 12. And then let's go ahead and do a six again. Make sure they match. Thank you all for popping on miss you guys. 
Facebook doesn't spread the love for us much anymore, and half of you I don't get to see or hear from. And I really appreciate you being here. All right, now we're going for it. Now, because this is one direction, you know how anal I am about that. So, we're going to make sure that our tails go in the right direction. So I'm putting my tails down first. So when I'm looking at it, it'll go like this. I'll be able to read it. It won't be upside down. You know how much I hate that. And then we're going to drop this down to about five and a half. Now again, I'm making sure that I'm able to read my words. I hate when I see a wreath that somebody took so much time to make and the ribbon's all upside down. That, that's just me personally. But see now, looking at this, all my words are in the right direction. It's just like a pet peeve I have. I hate that. Ugh. All right. Then what did I say we're going to do next? We're going to do... Let's do the red stripe next. End with this one. Then put the black and white. Yeah. Again, we're going to do like a 12-inch tail. I know. How's that a bin? All right, so let's put our tails going that direction. Then we're going to go with our snowflake. More glitter that'll be through my house. This is going to be about a five inch loop. And don't worry if your tails are not even. It doesn't matter. You do not have to have matching tails. Now I'm going to use the 7 8 ribbon. Believe it or not, it is wired. They came out with, with um, well, you saw it when I did a couple of wreaths this year. I used the, uh, the really thin so this is smaller than the 7 8 That's the newest thing this year, is the uh, <coughs> thinner ribbon. I like to sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time, incorporate some black in my bow. It's just a nice pop of color. One thing I did notice with this, it tends to fray a little more. So you could use like pink and shears to keep it from fraying. Now let's just, I thought I cut that. Yeah, I did. Let's just add a little bit of our snowflake in there. Why not? Let's add, let me see. Let's add just three loops. It's just a little extra touch in our bow. There we go. All right. Oh, and I even have some silver berries here that might look nice in here too with some bells. These are picks from Joann's that I got. All right. Now, let me see. I need a... A zip tie, but I kind of want to do my my thing like you always see me do. Those of you that watch, I pull out the wire. I 
and then I try and fold it in on itself. Remove some of this. Try to do it carefully so I don't burn myself. I always fold it in on itself and glue it down. Come on. There we go. Now, I will put my zip tie first around my bow, and then I will cover my zip tie with this. It's just a way of disguising it so I don't see it. Who went shopping? Cool. Next year, we are going to have a Hobby Lobby in Williamsport. And I'm going to call Tina, and we're going to go meet there <laughs> and have some fun, some shopping therapy. Karen, you're talking about this machine over here? That is my 10 needle um, embroidery machine. It's a, it's called a PR 10,000. Um, I do a lot of embroidery. That's a, another big part of my business. Um, I can put names on towels. Um, in the past, I've always made um, pillowcases for my grandchildren and embroidered their name on it. I do birth squares on stuffed animals um, that I have when a baby is born. I have a lot of customers that order a stuffed animal with all the embroidery, like it'll have the time they were born, the date, the weight, um, all that. All right. Yep, it is. <laughs> that thing, <laughs> that thing was quite expensive. It has, I'll turn it on. I don't know if you can see it. But my computer, I will do all the designing on my computer. And then it has, and it's not showing up. It has this printout screen, display screen over here. So, yep, I do make aprons and I do put names on them so yes I do all that in fact I think I did do a, a video the one time it's probably on my YouTube channel of it you know working your um, hoop no matter what kind you use goes on here and then you hit start and it just starts embroidering so I I had a, a six needle and I graduated to the ten needle last year right before Christmas and I bought it off of an individual and it had some major issues and so it, it was in the shop and then I had to sit there and figure it out and what a mess. I have aprons. These are the ones I do. And this is an iron-on. This is what I do with my sublimation printing. Um, this really stays on way better than the embroidery. Embroidery tends to fade over time on the aprons with all the washing. So... Susan! Yay! Susan's on. Whoop, whoop. We are working with my, where'd they go? <laughs> my snowman blockheads. Ta-da! They are shelf sitters, tear tray sitters, wreath attachments, whatever you want. 
Oh my gosh, and wait, do you see the rabbits that I got made already? And the leprechaun. Oh man, his colors, they're gonna blow you away. You are gonna be like, what? All right, I think I got most of them dovetailed, except this little dude. There we go. The seven eighths ribbon. It's going to be very popular this year. In the beginning, you'll have to watch the replay. I showed all the ribbon that's my inspiration for my new um, Valentine lineup. So you want to check it out so you're ready. You know I'll have ribbon in my shop, but if you want to get started right away. All right. Let's bring our wreath back. Oh, okay. So when I do this, I take this. And those that watch me all the time, they know I do this. And then what we do is we go down the middle here. And we're going to cover up that zip tie so you're not even going to see it. That is a finished bow in my book. I hope it's not frozen. Go back out and come in, back in again, Susan. And then I hot glue it over top of the, the zip tie very carefully, but it's triple layered there, so I'm really good about not burning myself there. <laughs> Let's trim it a little more. And then we'll glue it over on itself. Man, I haven't seen some of you ladies in a while. This is awesome. I missed you. All right. Move this out of the way. Bring our wreath back in with our block head. Oops. It went to the trash. All right. Let's get our bow in here. And then we'll get our snowballs on and decide where to put some of our silver balls. All right, thinking right about here. I know I, I, I've graduated from the basement to my sewing room and I had the big table in here now I have the table with the ironing board. <laughs> I still need more space. There you go. Hey, Susan. We're working with my snowman blockheads. All right. your girlfriend all right it's every time I get it down there it's popping up thank you oh my gosh where do you see my leprechaun oh man I can't wait to finish him I'm working on uh, his hat so as soon as I get his hat figured out you are gonna I mean the colors just pop and I mean really pop all right now let's pull our ribbons around here now see by taking the extra time Susan meet Tina Tina meet Susan Tina just signed up for Lori's group Tina lives 
right in not too far in South Williamsport. And she's in our group now, Sue. Isn't that cool? She came to one of my classes here. Susan is an awesome designer. When I was in the paid group, Susan was in it with me. She's on Lori's group usually on Wednesdays for design, right? Am I right? It's Wednesday, Sue. But she's taken till after Christmas off. Good move. Because her, her, um, craft room, I think mine looked worse. Mine looks worse than yours, Sue. And I know Susan thinks hers looks bad, but I think mine's worse. She's going to love it, isn't she? Now all we got to do is get her talked into some lives. Her wreaths are gorgeous. All right, so there's our bow. Let me turn it around here as soon as I get this last tail in place. And I'll straighten up the tails. Okay, there we are so far. <laughs> you have no idea what a mess is, dear, <laughs> until you've seen my account stairs. My husband thinks I need a um, a warehouse now, <laughs> like Lori. <laughs> he, said, he said, I think a warehouse is a good idea. <laughs> I'm like, nope. <laughs> I think I need a little extra coverage over here, so I put another hole in just to hold that down. All right. <laughs> Let's get our balls in here, our snowballs. Aren't they gorgeous? They came like this, and I'm like, I got to have those. Let's see. And usually you want to do it in a triangle. For visual interest, that's why it's done. And maybe we'll put it over there. And then see? See? I got my triangle. So, that's on there pretty sturdy. So I'm thinking I can just glue this right down in like that. So let's give this a shot. Isn't that cute? Okay, what did you say? Hey, Dawn! Okay, we gotta move in. Dawn's on. Dawn always likes to be able to see in. She don't wanna look at me. <laughs> there we go. I'm missing some comments here. So true. All right. I think I need another glue stick. Doesn't that kind of like spruce it up? Like it's, it's almost like, it almost looks like a snowball. I don't know if you can see it. See the... Ah, uh, thanks, Karen. I tell everybody it was made in England. This was the color of my grandmother's hair, and she came from England. <laughs> Go. And we'll get this in here. Go. 
Has everybody done their winter wreaths or are you starting on spring? Yes, that's the word I was looking for, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to think on that one, Levon. All right, where did my bells go? I just, there they are. All right. See, I thought this would just be enough of a little pop here and there. Although now I'm not so sure with the silver. Let me pull out the white and we'll see if the white looks better. You give me your opinion, or I could even go. No, I think I just have white now. See, the white doesn't look that great with it. I don't know. What do you think? Or do I need some red berries? What's your flavor? Not liking these berries. I don't know. I might have to sit back and think about it a while. Or, let me see. No, let's see what it looks like with one of these in there. What will work? You love the red berries? See, I don't like the red berries only because the color is different than that color. So to me, I don't, I don't, unless it's the same color, red just doesn't, um, where is my, here they are. Let's just put, because we've got some silver in here, so let's just put some silver in here and see what you think. This is another little touch color. What do you think with the silver in? The silver. I kind of like that. What are your thoughts? I'm out of snowflakes, Dawn. I mean, <laughs> so, so much this year, I'm like totally out of snowflakes now. And this kind of goes with the uh, silver snowflakes on the ribbon. So I think it kind of adds another dimension and it kind of um, ties into it. Yeah, this, the snowflakes I have left are huge and I'm just not feeling it with them. What do you think of that? Wait a minute. I could 
add some of these in. These look good. Oh. Thank you, Susan. What do you think of these? Or do you think they look more like a star and not a snowflake? does make it look icy. What do you think? Yay or nay to these? Does it make it look too much like a, a star as opposed to a snowflake? Okay, these were actually um, Dollar Tree ornaments. All right, we'll add those in. Then I think we're pretty, we got it. I think we, we got it. Because these just weren't doing it. Maybe because it was all one batch. Maybe if it was just a single here or there. I could still add them in. Why not? <laughs> yeah. We'll just do one and we'll just... That's what it was. It was the bunch of them that was not working for me. One, two... Three, four, so I'll put five of those in, and then I'll have my odd number. Yes, they did, right? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. I think we're done. What do you think? My blockhead. Oh, thank you. So these are now in the Etsy shop along with the sign. And uh, I'll be on again Wednesday. Let me, um, thanks. Thanks, miss. Wednesday, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do another snowball. Um, I know, right? <laughs> See what I did? I matched the hat to the sign. I, and there is green or blue eyes. See how the nose is above, sits above? like the um, gingerbread ones. So this is, baby, it's cold outside. Even I even thought it would really be cute to find like real cute big rhinestones because you got rhinestones throughout. I call them diamonds, but. And I even put the, um, the baby, it's cold outside. That ribbon is in my shop too that matches the sign. So if you didn't get to see the beginning, watch the replay so you have an idea of the, um, the color palette I have started with for the um, Valentine signs. So make sure you check that out. And I've got a bunny coming in this. I've got the tube bunnies, the tube leprechaun so a lot more coming up all right i guess that's it um i will see you on wednesday at two o'clock 
I will be thinking of you tomorrow, Yvonne, Levon. So keep Levon's dog in your prayers tomorrow. And let me know how things go. I'll be thinking of you. All right, everybody, have a great evening, and thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. All right, good night.